Logitech G230 and G35 headsets review. Immersive gaming nirvana, question mark. Josh Walrath wrote this up for PC Per. Um, and coming back to our earlier story, Logitech has been around seemingly forever, writes Josh. <laughs> it's kind of cruel. Um, but he takes a look at the G230, uh, which are the introductory analog models that Logitech offers in their G-Series collection. These are gaming headsets, in case uh, I didn't make that clear. Uh, and uh, there's also the G35, which is the, if I'm not mistaken, the USB digital-based uh, surround sound headset. What did Josh think of them? I guess the G35 looks very fluffy and comfortable. Uh, th they're both built very similarly uh, in terms of um, the design of them uh, to be direct. The G230 is a very low-cost product. It's about $40. Uh, Josh wasn't impressed with it, either in terms of like music reproduction or movie sound. Mm -hmm. It was eh, not good. Uh, the microphone was not fantastic. The gaming experience with it, he said, was just fine. Uh, but it was it's, it's a very mediocre headset. Right. The 235 though was was a pretty different experience for him. He um I'm sorry the the G35 not the 235. Uh the G35 set is about 80 to 90 dollars for the gaming headset but it offers a lot more features the software is more advanced. Um you've get uh, a much better microphone, you've got some some uh swappable what do you call the top along the top of your headphones there the uh um the just the cushions I guess on the top of the headphones can be um swapped out either through wear or for different head shapes and that type of thing. Uh, the, the, the cable, it's a USB-based device as opposed to an analog device, so you get a little bit better control locally on the hardware to mute or adjust volumes, uh, and then that allows them to, you know, introduce, you know, artificial 7.1 surround sound, that type of thing, that capability that they have in there as well. So Josh came away uh, away. Really liking the G35, kind of underwhelmed by the G230, mm -hmm. which I guess based on the pricing, it's kind of what you would have expected to see. Um, right. But, you know, I, I think there's, um, the G35 has, has a lot to like. And it's still, I think in the grand scheme of things, a fairly modestly priced headset right. at about 80 bucks. So uh, that's worth that's worth checking out. I'm trying to think, where's the, where do we list that here? Uh I want to get make sure I'm I'm, I'm quoting the exact price here uh, on the Logitech devices. I don't want to get the wrong. Okay, you can actually okay you can actually get the G35s on Amazon for like sixty bucks uh, on sale. So the wireless ones are closer to ninety. So keep that in mind when you look around at these two. But um, again, another another one of those gaming products from Logitech, the G35 mm -hmm. at least that is a, a pretty good product that uh, we're glad to see them continuing to move forward and, and make new things.